Which is your house? What do you mean, which is ours? All of them. They're all ours. Yep, everyone in the village live together. Uh, one big happy family? One heck of a lot of places to hang your hat. We're back. So, do you want to take a look around? We better. We've got to find something to help us lose these brands. That's not the only reason we're here. You're finally home. Make the most of it. Ragnarok, come day of wrath, O pulse the sea. Embrace thy fate, thine home to burn, that fallen souls might bear our plea to hasten the divine's return. O piteous wanderer, Ragnarok, make of this day a brave epoch. Deliver the divine. Ragnarok. What? Sarah. How did you... <sighs> I was waiting for you to open your eyes. <sighs> All the time I was asleep, I knew what was happening. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon. Together. Sarah? Huh? You get it now. 
There are no gods with miracles to save us. No matter where you look. That's why we have to call one. Destroy Orphan. We'll save the world. Stop it! You can't do that. You love me too much. You do, don't you, Claire? Enough already! <laughs> Listen up. We are all shooting for the same goal here. <laughs> and the result of that <gasps> is this. You son of a... <laughs> You betray your foul sea to chase after dreams and shadows. The world you claim to wish to protect now faces the end of days, with no hope of salvation. I didn't think foul sea had the means. Oh, it won't be foul sea who destroy her. For centuries now, Cocoon has provided generously for its human inhabitants every want and need. Coddled them, one might even say. The result being, their deep-seated fear and hatred of change and all things alien. Fed, nurtured, and ready to detonate at the slightest spark. The seeds of destruction take root, even now. What did you do to Cocoon? I resigned, appointing Reigns as Primarch in my stead. Reigns? He's alive? <laughs> the puppet is restrung to serve my needs, yes. Its eyes had long since turned to glass. Of course, the cavalry's eyes will see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. They'll say the Falci got to him too, or some such drivel, and imagine when I spread word that it's Orphan tugging at his strings. What happens next? What? Uh... You're gonna use the cavalry to take the thing out? <laughs> perhaps. Or perhaps I'll feign the howling of Pulsian wolves and let the fear-addled sheep slaughter themselves first. Either way, the end is at hand. <laughs> But what of yourselves? Will you enjoy the festivities beside me? Or perhaps... Greet the end here, in the land where it all began.
The time has come. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to extend my invitation. To save a people beyond salvation, there is only Ragnarok. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cocoon suffers. Release her from the pain. <sighs> so, this is the end of the rainbow, huh? Well, here's hoping the pot's full of tips on dealing with crackpot Falsi. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this being here before. I guess it's new, huh? Yeah, must be. I suppose it might be a record of what happened. You know, after we turned to crystal. Where the slayers of Lindsay dwell is the enemy of all life fostered by Pulse's sacred hand. So Alfal C determined Pulse's will, chose Lissy, and gave them a focus. Become Ragnarok and bring about the end of Cocoon. And so the beast arose, defeated Lindsay's hateful Falsi, and prepared to tear Cocoon apart. But her providence betrayed Alasi, draining Ragnarok of strength. Their focus only half complete, the Lassi were taken to the enemy's land by Bartandalus, curse his name. And the goddess said, Lassi who rest upon Cocoon will reawaken, however long they may wait. And Ragnarok will rise again, to tear the land from its seat in the sky. Her word is absolute. Guess the jig is up. Ugh. Cocoon's done for, isn't it? Yeah, you don't sweat it. If we go ahead and smash Cocoon, you know some make a sure to roll up and save the day. <laughs> as long as Falci are around, this fight is never gonna end. So let's finish it. Let's get Dysley. So what do we do about Orphan? We help Orphan. What else can we do? If we can manage to keep it safe, another war breaks out somewhere down the road. We're Lassie. It's not like we can make people stop fighting. <sighs> Lightning, you told me on Cocoon. It's not a question of can or can't. We just do it. That's our only choice this time. Maybe it won't do much. Maybe only one person will listen to us. But even then, isn't trying better than doing nothing? <laughs> because ripples can make waves. <laughs> okay, kids have gone crazy. Revolutionaries always get cold crazy. <laughs> when I was on Cocoon, I wished on those fireworks. I wished to not let anything happen to Cocoon this time. But I shouldn't have wished for that. Uh... <laughs> Wishes aren't enough. Prayers either. This time I'm making a promise. I will keep Cocoon safe. I promise, no matter what. I guess it takes losing everything to make you see how much you have to fight for, huh? And we're the only ones who can do it, right? Right. <laughs> yep. 
All right, then. Let's tie up loose ends. Okay. Right. All right. Let's do yeah. It. Chasing shadows, our minds were made up. We'd realized along the way that choice was the only thing we had left. Maybe we'd fall short. Maybe we'd never even come close. But someone, someday, would know we'd tried. 